Hello everyone, this is Sharnam Shumukhopadhyay, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, MIT, Vishnupur. In this video, we will be discussing about the meaning of Six Sigma, history of Six Sigma, implementation of Six Sigma, level of Six Sigma, DMAC and DMADV. Six Sigma is a method that provides organizations to improve the capability of their business process. This increase in performance and decrease in process variation helps to defect reduction and improvement in profits, employee morale and quality of products or services. So basically Six Sigma quality is a term generally used to indicate a process is well controlled that is within process limits plus minus three sigma from the central line in a control chart and requirements or tolerance limit of plus minus six sigma from the central line actually six sigma is a set of techniques and tools for process improvement it was introduced by american engineer bill smith while working at motorola in 1986 a Six Sigma process is one in which 99.99966% of all opportunities to produce some feature of a part are statistically expected to be free of defects. This Six Sigma strategies seek to improve manufacturing quality by identifying and removing the causes of defects and minimizing variability in manufacturing and business processes. This is done by using statistical quality management methods and by hiring people who serve as Six Sigma experts. Each Six Sigma project follows a defined methodology and has specific value targets such as reducing pollution or increasing customer satisfaction. In 2003, Motorola took Six Sigma to the next level by elevating it to a management system and rebranded our efforts as Digital Six Sigma. In this place, Motorola started with a business-wide balanced scorecard and then determined the activities required to achieve those goals. Motorola assigned their strongest black and master black belts based on their change management skills and statistical capabilities to work on projects with complex problems with an unknown root cause. Each business and functional leader sponsored the efforts and provided the ongoing governance needed to remove barriers and achieve results. The program further evolved in 2005 when Motorola added lean concepts to the traditional Six Sigma framework to identify redundancies and reduce costs and cycle time. Their emphasis on reducing waste and non-value added activities was critical in addressing the continuing competitive pressures and increasing its productivity. In January 2011, Motorola chose to make a back to basics approach and focus on the essence of Six Sigma, the methodology used to delight its customers by exceeding their expectations and delivering products and services of the highest quality. Well, this is a list of companies claim to have successfully implemented Six Sigma in their organizations, namely ICICI, Amazon, General Electric, Bank of America, Boeing, Nokia, Microsoft, Wipro, TCS, and many more. There are various Six Sigma certification levels, including Master Black Belt, Black Belt, Green Belt, and Yellow Belt. Master Black Belt This is the highest level of Six Sigma achievement. At this level, they will shape strategy, develop key metrics, act as a consultant, 
and coach black and green belts. Black belt. Black belts are experts and agents of change. They provide training in addition to leading projects. Green belt. At this level, one can understand advanced analysis and can resolve problems that affect quality. Green belts lead projects and assist black belts with data collection and analysis. Yellow belt. At this level, one needs to know the specifics of Six Sigma, how and where to apply it. Yellow belt holders will support project teams on problem solving tasks. Six Sigma refers to a methodology that is driven by management, administration, services, design, production, and information technology. There are mainly two methodologies of Six Sigma, namely DMAC and DMADV. DMAC is a data-driven Six Sigma methodology for improving existing products and processes. Whereas DMADV is a methodology used to develop a process or product which doesn't exist in the company. DMAC methodology consists of five phases. D for define, M for measure, A for analysis, I for improve, and C for control. Define. This phase is completed when the team creates a process map that includes the processes, inputs, and outputs. Measure. This phase includes creating and executing a data collection plan that provides reliable and significant data. After this point, the project team's efforts focus on eliminating or reducing variance as much as possible. Analyze. On once process performance has been quantified, the analyze phase of DMAC helps to identify possible causes of the problems. In this phase, the team is able to quantify the financial benefit of solving the problem. Improve. The improve phase focuses on finding a permanent solution to the problem. The team then tests a proposed solution in a pilot program to test if the solution is effective and financially viable. Control. Once the solution has been implemented, the projective controls it for several months and if it meets performance expectations, turn it over to the process owner. The acronym DMADV represents five project phases. Define, measure, analyze, design, and verify. Define. The goals of the first phase are to identify the purpose of the project and then set realistic and measurable goals as seen from the perspectives of the organization and the stakeholders. Measurement. Next comes measuring the factors that are critical to quality or CTQ. Steps taken should include defining requirements and market segments, identifying the critical design parameters, designing scorecards that will evaluate the design components, reassessing risk, and assessing the production process capability and product capability. Analyze. During this stage, an estimate of the total life cycle cost of the design is determined. After thoroughly analyzing the different design alternatives, the best design option available for meeting the goals is chosen. Design. The stage of DMAGV includes both a detailed and high-level design for the selected alternative. Once this step is completed, a more detailed model will be prototyped in order to identify where errors may occur and to make necessary modifications. Verify. In the final phase, 
the team validates that the design is acceptable to all stakeholders. The verify step also includes a plan to transit the product or service to a routine operation and to ensure that this change is sustainable. Now, the differences of DMAG and DMADV. DMAG addresses the business process, whereas DMADV addresses the design process and customer needs directly. DMAG reduces or eliminates defects. It is a reactive process, whereas DMADV prevents defects it is a proactive process. DMAC includes specific solution, whereas DMADV is a part of solution design process. DMAC includes controls to sustain the benefits, whereas DMADV includes verification and validation of the finished design. Thanks to all of you.